In Revit, there are two ways to evaluate the daylighting performance in buildings, illuminance renderings and insight lighting analysis. Illuminance renderings can provide a quick way to visually understand the illumination levels in a space through daylighting as well as artificial light sources. The visualizations display a color scale on the surfaces in the rendering to help you determine whether the lighting design meets the requirements of the space. Let's start with opening a Revit model to use for this analysis. Reopen the Classroom with Shades Revit model. For an illuminance rendering in Revit, you need to use a Building Element Revit model or the analysis will not work. Once the model is opened, open the 03-Floor Public Dash day rendering view. Next, we'll create an illuminance rendering for this view. From the View tab, select Render in the Cloud. If prompted, select Continue in the dialog box that welcomes you to Rendering in the Cloud and summarizes the steps needed for illuminance rendering. On the next screen, select a 3D view created in the project for the illuminance rendering. Choose the 03 dash floor public dash day rendering view. You can select one or multiple views to render at the same time. For output type, select Illuminance. Select the image size to set the resolution of the rendering. For this rendering, choose Medium. Next, set the Illuminance and Rendering settings. In the Location slash Time settings tab, Select the date and time to be used in the rendering. Choose today's date at 11 a.m. The analysis will use your model's location, so you will not need to set the location here. In the Sky Model Settings tab, select one of the six different sky models for the illumination rendering and set the sun's intensity, the irradiance, if needed. For this rendering, choose Perez All, Weather Sky. In the Legend Settings tab, set the Units, the Scale Range, and the Scale Increment. For the Units, select Foot Candles or Lux. In this rendering, choose Foot Candles. For the Scale Range, specify the minimum and maximum values to be displayed in the rendering. Select Automatic to set the Scale's range to the minimum value and maximum value calculated in the simulation with 10 proportional subdivisions. For the scale increment, select Logarithmic to visually distinguish between values in the lower portion of the range while still capturing very high values. Now we're ready to start the rendering process. Select Start Rendering. If a message appears indicating that some rendering appearances are missing, click OK. This will not matter for our illuminance rendering. After a while, Revit will notify you when your images are ready with a pop-up window on the Revit screen and by email if you selected that option. When the rendering is complete, you can view it in the Render Gallery web interface. Click the View tab and select Render Gallery to view and download your completed renderings online. To access the renderings, you'll need to sign in to your A360 account. Click on the completed illuminance rendering to view it. Note that the illuminance level on each of the surfaces is indicated by the color legend at the side of the image. To download the rendering, right-click on the image and select Save As in the pop-up menu. Or hover over the image thumbnail and choose Download Image from the pop-up menu. 